This morning, the Human Rights Watch released a report on their findings and inquiries and review of the trouble in Kasese. Today, we do have uh, news nights looking into the recommendations. Will they be implemented and more? Night is brought to you by Pimpon of Electric Mart, proudly associated with Chint. Joining me tonight is the UPDF spokesperson, Brigadier Richard Karemiri. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Fred. I'm assuming yeah. it has been a busy day after this uh, report came out. No, it uh, has not been really more busy than uh, it has been. The usual? This is the, the usual. usual. Yeah, we're always very busy. Okay, so let's yeah. look into this report. Uh, I noted that they said that in February um, you, they had a conversation with you where you specifically said that uh, there was no investigation into the military conduct and none was planned. What has changed between the 24th of Feb and now? Do you intend to have any inquiry as one of their recommendations or not? Thank you, it is true. Maria Barnett uh, hooked up with me on the phone and uh, she started asking me about... Uh, an investigation. I said, what investigation? I said, investigation into circumstances that uh, what happened in, in the mm. I said, uh, first of all, the matter is uh, before court. We have the subjudice rule that uh, basically bars us to, to talk or dig deep into some of the things. Mm. Because the case and uh, what she's been interested in are... Uh, they are linked. Mm. You cannot uh, divorce one uh, from the other. So from that uh, standpoint, that uh, I, s I, I told her that you uh, were not conducting uh, an, an inquiry, an inquiry mm. and uh, I was not seeing uh, anyone being uh, conducted in the, in, the, in the very near future. Mm. No individuals course, being pointed out. No individuals being uh, pointed out by by at least by us, we've not uh, we've not seen anyone culpable. We've not uh, mm. received any. I'm glad you said that because uh, it then brings me to my next question. Because mm. now Major General Elwelu, uh, many have questioned, uh, you know, that he's under his command, mm. the use of lethal force. And you did say today, and to quote you, that you know, the the, the report they didn't have all the facts. They didn't have uh, perhaps an in-depth look into what. Um, led or what informed your decision or the decision uh, of Bugadeler to actually head into Kasese in that way or into the palace compound. So I want to seek your, your, your in-depth uh, reasoning now or the in-depth reasoning of Bugadeler. That's, that, that's very true. The way Human Rights Watch uh, approached this matter is that it happened, it started on that very day. Mm. That's really uh, the starting point. They do not go deep into the genesis. A lot has been happening from 2014. There have been so many incidents in the Rwenzori subregion perpetuated by, by that group. So it was basically a build up. Civilians had been killed. Security forces had been killed. And those who had conducted, who committed those uh, heinous uh, activities are the ones who ran to the palace. So the movement to the palace, as we had said, we have said in the before, was aimed at, at those very elements that had committed those uh, acts in the past. So the matter cannot be, tre cannot be treated as if... Uh, it started that very day when the operation was uh, conducted in the palace. Mm. So this is the depth that is totally lacking in the report. So what you're once saying you know, is that they shouldn't have judged or made this report well, according to you based on that one day. But let's talk about matters of that one day. For example, the death of children. And the, the report was saying that there was no effort, maybe perhaps no effort recorded or seen, mm. that they tried to um, protect or to remove those who are unarmed, we're talking women, civilians, and children. First of all, we uh, wonder why the, why, where this thing of children is coming from. They were not children. They're not Nobody, deaths of children? No, no children, no deaths of children. 
reported, have, that you're aware of? Abs- absolutely. If there are any children, <laughs> let, them, let us have their names, the names of their parents. It's very hurting for anyone to impute that. Uh, so you're saying no parents or no families have come out to report the nothing. loss of children we who are not, we have assumed not, dead? We have not received in, uh, such a report from anyone. Mm. Yeah. Even in the Human Rights Report, uh, Human Rights Watch report, if they were there, they should have documented them. Child so and so, whose parents are so and so. Okay, so let's take out children. They're mm-hmm. just saying that there were no efforts seen that, you know, you, you, that were taken to remove unarmed people, civilians, from the palace compound before the raid was, was done. But, but those could have, uh, f- first of all, the, the raid could have been avoided. That's for Altogether. Example. Altogether. Mm. They were given sufficient time to the extent that uh, the highest authority had to get involved in trying to to request them mm. to, disband, to disband. So you're, you're saying that it could have been avoided Absolutely. altogether. What could have been done possibly to... They could have disbanded. The law is very clear. They were not supposed to have been armed there. Who provides the uh, military security to kings? We have a unit in the UPDF that is responsible for that. Mm. We provide security to the Kabak of Buganda. We provide uh, security to the king of Toro to the Omukam of Bunyoro. So there was nothing really warranting having uh, armed people. Okay. The palace. All right, to make so it worse, armed people that had been involved in the uh, lawlessness, in the killing civilians, in the killing security forces. Uh, we're going to try and wind up here, Bri- Brigadier Academy. Uh, mm-hmm. Two things. One, uh, comment on the fear of reprisal. The, the, the report noted that people were witnesses were afraid to come out because they were not sure how they'd be handled. And uh, I did notice that they said the police was claiming that uh, journalists and so many other people should not have shown some parts of the violence. I wasn't sure which parts of the violence were not supposed to be shown. And then as we also wind up, perhaps uh, what will be implemented out of uh, the recommendations? There's no need to fear any, any reprisal. There's no basis for that. So we call upon anyone who has got uh, some concerns in the particular cases to, that uh, should be addressed uh, by our government, let him or her come out. There are so many channels through which uh, such uh, information can be related to us. Mm. If not through government, it could be through certain uh, civil society institutions, they can even use the church, they can use uh, the the local leaders they trust, uh, yeah. the elected members of parliament, those channels. All right, are, so uh, the recommendations, inqui- uh, including the inquiry uh, mm. of specific people and uh, maybe compensations, wh- what do you see will be um, implemented out of the recommendations, if any? Well, uh, as I've, I've said, the matter is before court. Let's not uh, jump the gun. I've told you that the matter before the court is linked to what uh, is being uh, talked about in in that report. So let's wait for the court proceedings to go as as they should be. Then uh, based on uh, what they could uh, uh, come out with, we'll see how to go with that. We'll go with that. UPDF spokesperson Brigadier Richard Karimir, thank you so much. That's it for Newsnight. We'll now take a short break.